and kiss mama and this is my beautiful lovely sissy Natasha we are four years apart my best friend in the whole entire world and I really hope to be doing more makeup tutorials Thanks with her if you want to know more about us you can watch my sister's tag I will link that below and so a little bit about this makeup tutorial is I'm going to go through and explain how I do my makeup on like a day-to-day -day basis an easy look and I'm going to be explaining the colors I use and then she's gonna go ahead and pick with her own makeup and her own product colors that she would like to use so our looks are gonna be very different but yet very similar at the same time and that just goes to show you that you do not need to have the same products that we have I just want to show you what products to use where because we know that this right gets complicated right. if you guys would like to know how we got this look then continue watching we are going to start off by is it a moisture it's a pore thing? refining so it's gonna hydrate your skin and clean out your pores and it peels off nice she brought this back from germany so this is what it's it looks called like rain palm teeth so we have two everyone ayla's here <laughs> hi yeah say hi Hi. <laughs> it's gonna kind of burn when you first put it on. It's gonna burn, but it's like getting into your pores and then it doesn't. That's kind of what masks do in general. So the directions say to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes, but when I did this, it took like an hour to dry. Like it was still sticky. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god, Ayla's gonna be like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> and then. You, want, you don't want to get it in your eyes because it'll burn. <laughs> or your hair. Yes. That's another one is it says not to get it in your hair. Contour on fleek. What about you get on your eyebrow hair? Yeah, you're not supposed to. And oh. I, and I literally Will just... Will it peel my eyebrows away? I don't know. How do you like? Oh. And it's going to dry and tighten. We had to leave these masks on for about an hour, I would say. So I had enough time to put Ayla to bed and straighten my hair. So if you notice anything different, that's what I just did for the hour while it was drying. It's hard for me to like. It feels like I have like real life Botox. Yeah, it's really stiff. Like. Oh my god. Oh wow. Why so wet? Oh wow. How did you just get your whole mask off in 10 seconds? That was so, let me try to do you. Oh my God, yours is not done yet. I know. Okay, so first we are going to prime our face. So I'm just using a Sephora face primer. I just need about one pump and I'm going to be using my foundation brush from my makeup brush set. And I'm gonna be using my finger. <laughs> Next step, we are going to be applying foundation. So a foundation of your choice. I'm using Makeup Forever. And I'm using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And a little bit of water. I'm just going to apply the foundation all over my whole face. And I'm just using a stipple brush, blending it outward. And I'm like kind of dabbing it. There are different ways to do the same steps. Okay, so next we are going to set our foundation. So I'm just going to be taking a Lancome powder, but any powder will really work of your skin color, and we are just going to be setting our foundation. Pat the powder on all over. So next step, we are going to be priming our eyes. So I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Ditto. <laughs> but mine's nude and yours is clear. I like to just put a little bit on my finger, put it together, and apply to my lids. Fingers are the best makeup brushes. So grab your fluffiest brush and a very light but nude neutral eyeshadow to set your eyeshadow primer. I'm using the brush that came with this palette. It's a very good blending brush. And I'm gonna go with my Morphe, and I'm gonna do this one. Nice. So we decided to use the Morphe palette. It's a 35-0 matte. 
So there 30, and there's also a 35O that has glitter. So we're gonna be taking like an orange brownish color. So I'm going to be taking this color. So I want you guys to take something flat. You can either tape it off, but I'm just going to be using a flat edge and pretty much hold it to the corner of your eye and use that as a base um, so you don't go past that. And then I want you to blend it out. So when I take that off, it makes a nice light. So I'm just going to keep blending my eyeshadow, kind of like a rainbow, I would say. I have this box called the Sephora Color Switch, and you just open it up and it's a sponge and you can keep rewashing it and you just change your color on here so that you don't need to go. <gasps> you can just. So next I'm going to be taking a very light brown. I'm going to be taking this color. So I'm going to pat on the corner of my eye and blending it up and outwards with that subtle brown. So I'm going to get rid of that orange. Next, you're going to be taking a flat brush. So I'm going to be using this brush. Go back with your foundation, one pump on your hand. Rub your brush in your pile. I keep going back and forth, making sure that there is just enough of what I need. And I am going to put that in the middle of my lids. Doesn't have to be pretty, just pack it on in the middle of your lids. I'm going to be taking a, a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pat it over what I already did. Wow, that's really pretty really give that a good pop. Using my fluffy blending brush, I am just going to go in and blend out what I did. Um, and I have really no product on my brush. I'm just using the product that I already had from my base color. Doing the same on the other side. So you're pretty much just blending the sparkle shadow with your base matte shadow and I'm not trying to touch the middle of my sparkle I'm really just trying to blend together the two where they meet so it's a very nice soft look and it's not so harsh and if you feel like your product just isn't blending well just go back in with um maybe that orange color or a more neutral color so I'm going to be going back in with a more neutral color and that really will help soften, take a dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna be using the Morphe. I'm just gonna start by patting my brush again on the corners of my eye and blending it up. But this time, I really just wanna stay blending up. Example, I don't wanna make it over here and I don't wanna bring it up. I'm just going to literally blend right there and just keep going back and forth, back and forth. So just the corner has that nice dark pop. Kind of pat it in the corner and blend up. Taking an angled brush, um, something that maybe you would use for eyeliner, eyebrows, and I am just going to very lightly kind of work this eyeshadow and I am just going to be bringing it up bottom connecting it with the top this is definitely my most trickiest part um, I'm going to be using the NYC I am a big fan of winged eyeliner so I will definitely be making a winged eyeliner but this part is preference it's all up to you if you want to make it thicker wider whatever you want to do just make it nice so to start off my eyeliner make one line just going up taking through and fill and I'm just going to do the same so you just want to make one line 
using my Color Stay by Revlon. It is my holy grail of bottom eyeliner. Me too. It gets it on so dark, it's not runny. This doesn't really bleed. And it doesn't yeah. bleed, it's very nice. Little trick on how I put my eyeliner on. I'm going to put this at the bottom of my lower lash line and close my eyes and rub away. And then you can go in and touch it up. Make sure that you're connecting your bottom liner with your top. I'm going to complete the eyeshadow look. Taking that shimmery color again, I am going to be applying that at the corners. My favorite part of doing my makeup is definitely my eyebrows. I definitely have probably like the thinnest natural eyebrows on the planet so I've always wanted to achieve fuller eyebrows and I feel like now in my makeup career I finally could achieve the full eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and it is light. It helps me define each hair strand that I should have but I don't. I use the Pixie by Petra Natural Brown that I love, it's like my favorite, favorite, favorite. I wouldn't switch it for anything. Okay, so to begin, I'm just going to go at it. So I got the top down, and then I'm gonna draw the ends. And then I'm going to start at the bottom. Once I've kind of created the shape that I would like to use, then I'm going to go in and fill in. So I would definitely have to say the most important part about doing your eyebrows is taking my spoolie and blend it out. And then I go in with my pixie gel and I just comb it out again and that kind of blends it too you know to make it look more natural I think yes totally does the job and it's tinted next we are going to clean up our eyebrows so I'm going to be taking my eyebrow brush by my makeup brush set and it is pretty much just a flat brush so I clean up my brows with my foundation I am going to define my eyebrows pretty easily actually This is the Anastasia Contour Kit, taking the middle brown color, which I always do, Me too. and I'm going to be taking a fluffy blush brush, is pretty much what this is called, and I like to get a lot of product. Chin, temples of your forehead, and each time I keep adding more product. Take the back of my beauty blender and my daughter just bit a hole in it yesterday. Shout and out was today. Oh my god, it was today. I'm losing track of my days. Shout out to Ayla. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the lightest pinkish shimmery color and I'm going to pat the back of my beauty blender and I'm going to pack the same for the other side. Keep adding more product and then on the tip of my nose. So my camera had died. We completed our look with our eyelashes. So I did not curl my eyelashes before and I did not put any mascara on. We used the Red Cherry Lashes in 503. Okay, that's and what I used. And we also use. used the Red Cherry Lashes in 13. And that's what and she used. She is definitely the lipstick guru. I like to just put chapstick on and this is a lip balm. It really serves as a lip gloss. Like to me when I put it on, I think I have lip gloss. It's natural, it's minty. I'm just gonna use a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. That is my secret to getting glass. So we are going to set with an Urban Decay, so could you do the honors on me? Girl. <laughs> gonna let that dry. <laughs> We really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.